Hi guys, Technological UK. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best render settings for Cinema 4D. So first, you want to come to the render settings option up here and press that. You should do this every time you open up. In the general tab, we want it to be a full render, or as much as on that. Output, we want it to be 1280 by 720. Now that gives you the best size for YouTube. Resolution 72 we want. Film aspect ratio, leave what it is. Pixel aspect, leave what it is. Frame rate, make sure it's 30. 30 works the best for animations and just plain pictures. Now this part is very important. Where it says frame range, make sure you change the current frame to all frames. That will make sure it will render the whole thing perfectly. Next we want to go to the save tab and press these three dots here. Now we just want to save the file where we want it to be saved. So if I just make a new folder and call it Kieran, open that, and then down here we've got what we want our file to be called, and I want it to be called Settings. There we go, save, format, we can either have AVI Movie or QuickTime. Now I prefer AVI Movie because you can use Windows Media Player and that you have to download QuickTime and it's fast, so I'll select that. But you can use QuickTime if you want. Multipass, always ignore this. Anti aliasing, anti aliasing tab, you want to set that to best and leave everything else as it is. And finally, options. First thing you want to do is ray depth, change that to 6. Reflection depth, change that to 2. Shadow depth, change that to 6 as well. And finally, uncheck blurriness. And that's it. Just cross that off create your animation and then press this orange one here and you can render out a video it's as simple as that thanks for watching remember to comment rate and subscribe